the Tucson doesn't leave drivers with many choices once you lock in on an engine or a number of drive wheels, Hyundai figures out the rest for you it's fine, because crossover SUVs aren't so fixated on the driving experience itself it should be no surprise that a moderately priced crossover like the Tucson has a moderate score of 6 for performance, with an extra point for its ride we'd skip the basic Tucson say it comes only with a 164 horsepower 2.0 liter inline 4, a 6 speed automatic it's not very powerful and uses more fuel, so price is its only selling point. All other models offer a 175 horsepower, 1.6 liter turbo 4 coupled to a 7 speed dual clutch transmission with 195 pounds FT of torque available relatively low in the power bin. This Tucson has more than adequate power and shifts blip by without much shock or hesitation it shouldn't be mistaken as sporty in any dimension, and with just a hundred extra pounds or so on board, it can seem sluggish to pull off the line, even if the drive mode selector's been moved to sport. The base four-cylinder feels more responsive off the line, probably due to its conventional automatic, but the Turbo 4 ultimately makes better and more useful power ride and handling buyers in snowy states will probably want to opt for all-wheel drive unlike some rivals. All trim levels can be specified in either front or all-wheel drive for extremely slippery conditions, like in deep snow, a driver-selectable switch locks the torque split between the front and rear wheels to maximize traction at lower speeds. The Tucson's ride and handling are more on the side of predictability than outright sportiness, which is typical for the segment A McPherson strut front suspension and multi-link rear setup deliver a fairly firm ride with the optional 19-inch wheels and sport and limited trim levels that ride quality can turn downright jarring, at least momentarily, over, say, expansion strips or rutted pavement. 